Welcome to the Dreamweaver Beginners Project provided by MasterFlash.net. Uh, this video is only a sample video, just showing you bits and pieces of what's a part of the tutorial. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to drop you halfway into part one and just let it ride for a little bit. So starting from scratch, come down here, manage sites, select that. All you have to do is come here to new. Now when you click on new, what that's going to do is it's going to give you a little drop down menu. All right. And this is basically going to show you how to define your website. Okay. And if you select site, what that's going to do is that's going to pop up this window here that you can fill out all of the local inf information for. Okay. Now, some of your sites, obviously this is going to be speaking to, you know, many people, but through many of you, there's going to be several different ways that your web host, all right, whoever puts, whoever, wherever you put your files on your web host server, the way you call it is going to be a lot different in order to actually edit the content, okay? So let's say that I wanted to give this site name something funny. Now, this has nothing, no relevance to what you put on the site. This is just relevant to what you look for on your computer to work inside of this website. So I can just put, you know, destroy all humans, all right? You know, for me, this is basically a test, a, a local testing directory that I can go in and play around with some things if I want. So we've got this uh, site name, destroy all humans, okay? This uh, local root folder, obviously what it's doing is it's trying to go to my recently created website, or right? The last time I created a folder that I actually built a website in, it's trying to pull up in here, okay? And this is basically just a directory. And by the way, a directory means a folder, all right? So anytime you hear me say directory, which I say a lot, it just means I'm referring to a folder, all right? So if I had images in a folder, I'd be talking about the image directory. Okay, so uh, local root folder, what this is going to be is this is going to be the main folder that contains all of your main website's files. So what I need to do is I need to define where I want this folder and what name I want it to be. So how I can do that, I can obviously either type it out here or I can come in here and create a new one. All right, since I don't want that, I want to be able to put it in here. What I can do is open up a new folder and I'm just going to call this destroy all humans and select on that. Now, once I've gone ahead and do that, done that, I can select open down here and that's going to open it and I can hit select. All right. And that's basically going to put that as my folder for what the website is going to sit inside of. So basically what I can do down here is set up a default images folder. All right. And I can define that by coming in here. And most of the times it does open this up directly in the folder you just created. Okay. So what I'm going to want to do is define an images folder. So I can come in here, say images, all right? And you always want to set up an images folder. By default, most web hosts should set up a directory just like this. You might have a different name in here, but essentially this is what all you need, okay? So all I can do is just make sure this is selected, hit open, and then of course I can select it. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna put an images folder inside of here, and that's gonna direct, anytime I was to pull, you know, an image outside of my actual, you know, root folder here, it's going to ask me if I want to copy it over to the images folder, which of course makes it a lot easier on us having, instead of having to, you know, go through all our folder, folders and files, copy an image into the images folder, Dreamweaver by default will ask you, ask you if you want to uh, copy it over. All right. So essentially that's how that works. All right. So, uh, this other stuff, again, you're going to need to check with your uh, web hosts. Of course, if you're having an impossible time, me and my guys are sitting around all the time ready to answer any questions. So if you have a hard time setting up your site, let me know. Just be prepared with your host name and all that good stuff. And most of the times we know, we generally know what kind of server type is just by going to the server. So if you do need some help, just let us know. But uh, this should show you how to do it fairly well. I'm going to give you some examples here in a second. All right. Now, generally what I do when I create websites, and I'm talking, I do this on just the basics. All right. The basic scale of doing things. Okay. I don't even play around with what's in here because whatever you put inside the remote info info and the remote info is essentially the most important part of this. Okay. Local info. What local info means is on your computer remote info. What this means is on the server. All right. So basically you're going to be directing your remote info to your host. All right. And your local info is whatever you have set up on your computer. Okay, or drive or whatever you're using. All right, so what we need to do is we need to actually define the access to our server. 
So what we can do in here is drop this down. Now you have all of this stuff that you can sit here and work with. And obviously, you know, if you're working with local networks, web dive, RDS, and this uh, visual source, okay? If you're working with that, you basically don't need to be taking this tutorial because you already know how to do all this stuff. Uh, but ba the, the basic way of setting your site up is by selecting FTP. And again, I'm not going to get into any dynamics. The only dynamics we're going to be creating here is working with some uh, PHP. But as you can see, since I grabbed this FTP, all right, FTP essentially allows you to upload your content, all right, and manage your uh, content on, on a server through your web host, okay? Now, generally, the FTP hosts, all right, let's say that, for example, masterflash.net provided, um, you know, some uh, server space that you can actually put your websites on and all that good stuff, all right? What we can say here is, you know, generally, most cases, this is the information that you'd have to find from your host, but most cases, what you would say is Master Flash, can't even spell my own site, all right, Master Flash dot your domain dot com, all right? So sometimes it's like this, sometimes it's like this, okay? And again, sometimes it's like this. You've got, you know, just your IPs, okay? Which, you know, obviously if you're a host, if you signed up for a host, you, they should have sent you all that information. Sometimes you set it up directly to an IP number or you set it up to something that is like this, all right? Okay, so essentially that's how that works. Your host directory is basically gonna be the folder name that they created on their server. For example, if you're, ho you know, if you have one website, all right, your host directory is basically going to be uh, something, it's either going to be forward slash or it's going to be, you know, your domain forward slash. All right, and essentially that is all you would leave it as because what you want to do is the folder that they have set up on their server, okay, the directory that they build you, you're going to want to place your files inside of that directory. So if the directory on the server is your domain, you're going to want this to put the files up beyond your domain. And that's why you put your domain forward slash. And sometimes this is your domain.com, your domain.net, whatever you decided to get for your site suffix. Okay. But most cases, this works directly. All right. Dreamweaver does a good job of finding things. And uh, obviously, you'll find out real fast if it's not. All right. So, of course, anytime that you're given an FTP account, all right, through your host. You're given a login information most of the times it's your domain name all right so you put your domain okay and then of course you put your password whatever that wants to be okay and the only way for you to test to make sure that you've got this setup right and this setup right is by actually hitting this test button okay making it real easy and uh, obviously if you run into troubles okay check your host talk with them most web hosts nowadays actually have you know sample images for how to set things up on Dreamweaver all right if not, it'll be in the forums, blogs, whatever. Okay, and uh, to be honest with you, I only use this when I'm working on, you know, a big client site that's only given us access to certain, you know, areas of uh, the server. So basically, you don't really need to click anything. I'd say if anything, you were to click something for your basic site, you would just click, you know, use passive FTP. That is the end of the Dreamweaver Beginners Project sample video. To uh, get your hands on source files and watch the entire tutorial, head towards masterflash.net and uh, you'll be able to locate the Dreamweaver section. I hope you enjoy it.